A packed weekend of college hoops continues for Marquette. One final tune-up before Big East play begins. They get the Central Arkansas Bears this afternoon from Pfizer Forum in the first ever meeting between these two schools. Kaya Lude is coming out very aggressive. I was kind of surprised at both of those looks. Marcus Howard with a very historic three-point field goal as he now breaks a tie with the great Steve Novak. Sakar Adam at the last moment came to block the shot. Really bothered the release. Three three-pointers for Marcus Howard this afternoon. It's a travesty that they're not in the top 25 right now. Yeah, Stephen Bardo is just getting warmed up on his Big East news and notes. Folks, stay tuned. Join you sometime when you decide to throw down a little bit. I've never seen a guy his size be able to cook. No kidding. He's seven feet tall. Hard to miss in an airport as Chatham now has back-to-back -back buckets. You know, upset when they get the fouls called. I mean, the, the only guy that had a problem was Chatham when there wasn't a foul called against him. Sakar Adam with a tough take and a foul in the box score who scores 40, sometimes 50 points in a game. And you think, well, he must have just had a hot night. But Howard can do more than that. Like a feed up to Brendan Bailey, who slams it down. Well, everybody pays attention to Marcus Howard, but he gets the ball of the floor. Miss off the front iron. Tipped pass, but Greg Elliott's got it. And puts it in. Kyle Ude with an opening in the lane. And he lays it in. Give it to Theo, let him go to work. One. The other one, Archie Manning, not Peyton, Peyton's dad. So Anthony Boone and Archie Manning, only two players in Ole Miss to have their jersey retired. Torrance with the white headband. Beautiful oh, pass to Morrow Jr. He does the rest and earns a trip to the line. Oh, man. Oh, running. Young viewers, that's that easy. He held it at the right time. So all Ed Morrow had to do was catch and finish with authority. Great ball movement by Marquette. And it leads to a triple. Greg Elliott. You get, you know, tongue-tied on something like that. You did that really well. Uh, I try, man. <laughs> Picking up points from you. <laughs> Torrance on a fast break. He tries the Euro step. Dumps it oh, off wow. to Kane. What a pass point stroke this season shooting under 20 percent coming in meanwhile marcus howard has been lights out all afternoon long defenders at him you could throw candy popcorn you could throw two defenders it doesn't matter human nature you're gonna relax a little bit that's just what it is what a closeout by Rylan Bergerson to deny ed morrow a slam dunk he has been very impressive this afternoon 10 rebounds in the first half alone. And he gets it going from the floor now, up to seven points. And that's a wrap from Pfizer Forum. 106 to 54, the final score. Here are the Red Box Bowl, and off we go. Bowl games are made for big moments. Incredible! And when two teams are both looking to end bowl drought. What a stick! Something's gotta give. How about this? Take Garber's lead streaky cow. Touchdown, cow. Lovey Smith has his fighting Illini back in business. What a game. The Red Box Bowl. Cow, Illinois. Monday at 3.30 Eastern, 12.30 Pacific on Fox and the Fox Sports app.